Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install screencast keys onto Blender 2.82. So let's go ahead and open up the web browser and I'm going to go to this URL. I'll put a link to that in the YouTube description. So it will take us to this page here where we can click and download the screencast keys. So let's download that and we'll open up this folder on my desktop and we'll simply drag and drop that into this folder. Let's close down the web browser in this folder and we'll go ahead and load up Blender. So I've installed the latest version which is 2.82. We're going to click here and then go to edit preferences and inside preferences we'll go to the add-ons here. We'll click install and then we'll navigate and browse to that folder and select the zip file that you just downloaded. Click the install add-on button here and then you'll see the screencast keys options. You need to enable it so turn it on and then just close down this window. Now if you open, if you click on this little arrow, there's a little arrow on the side here that will expand this panel. You can also press the letter N to do that, the letter N. And you need to turn on the screencast key, so click screencast and then turn it on. As default, the screencast keys will be very small, like the font and stuff down here. So as you can see, as I'm middle mouse button clicking, or if I'm holding down the shift key, you'll see the text written down here. You can increase the font size. So when you're doing tutorials, if you want to, you know, display the information, what you're clicking and what you're pressing, then this will help everyone see things a lot easier. You can also change the font color here. Normally I like to have it like a green font color and you can do like a shadow. If you want to drop a shadow behind it, I believe you can do something like that as well. Um, but I'll leave you to go and experiment with that. And you can change the offset so you can change where it's positioned, right? Something like this. It's a pretty useful tool, especially if you're doing tutorials using Blender. Lots of people like to see what keys you're pressing. It helps them to learn. Uh, and I think that's a good thing. So that's how you go about installing the screencast key tool onto Blender 2.82. Let's close down this Blender application. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful. And I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.